And ahead of the 2024 fight back against Prime Minister Modi, India bloc has suffered a huge setback. Congress is slowly being dumped by its partners from Punjab to Delhi and Bengal. There seems to be no takers for Rahul's Bharat Jodo Yatra. TMC Supremo Mamta Banerjee said that she will fight it alone in the Bengal polls. As far as the Lok Sabha is concerned, the Bengal Chief Minister has declared that TMC won't form an alliance with Congress nor share any seats with them in the state. Incidentally, this is just a day ahead of the Rahul Gandhi-led Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra's scheduled entry into Bengal. In fact, Mamta Banerjee added that Congress lacked the basic courtesy to inform her of the Nyay Yatra passing through her own state. Now, this is contrary to the claims by the Congress that they had invited India Bloc parties to join the Yatra. Listen in. <laughs> The Congress was clearly caught off guard by this declaration by Didi. Watch how just hours before Mamta's statement, Rahul Gandhi has promised that a seat-sharing formula will be announced soon. जो हमारा जो हमारा सीट नेगोशिएशन है वो चल रहा है उसका रिजल्ट आएगा कंक्लूजन आएगा उसके बारे में मैं यहाँ कमेंट नहीं करना चाहता हूँ बट हमारा ममता जी के साथ मेरा पर्सनल और पार्टी का बहुत अच्छा रिश्ता है हाँ थोड़ा थोड़ा होता रहता है कभी कोई उनका कोई बोल देता है हमारा कोई बोल देता है दिस आर नेचुरल थिंग्स दिस आर नॉट थिंग्स दैट आर गोइंग टू डिस्टर्ब एनी थिंग while Mamta snap ties in Bengal, her generals point to Congress's dismal poll performance and say that they are better off without an ally. Meanwhile, the Congress is trying to downplay the snub as a mere speed bump. Listen in. What Mamta Banerjee has said, he, she is our supremo. All India president of All India Trinamool Congress, our supremo Mamta Banerjee. What she had said... We don't want to make any comment on that. She is the final word of our party. But in connection with some statements coming from Congress, etc., I just want to say that for this kind of situation, the total responsibility belongs to AICC. State unit of Congress, they are continuously since 2021 assembly election continuously disturbing trinamool congress they are making statements against mamta didi obhishek and our leaders they are trying to make a division in non bjp votes so that bjp can get the political profit congress is a democratic party there are different voices mamta banerji is a very senior very respected leader of India, not just of West Bengal. She's a pillar of the India group. Mr. Kharge, Mr. Sonia Gandhi, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, all are in touch with her. They hold her in the highest of regard. They admire her courage, her grit, her determination, her administrative capacity. So there's no question of disrespecting. She has also said that fighting BJP is her priority. All right, let's take this across to our guest joining us at the moment. We have with us uh, Sanju Verma, spokesperson of uh, the BJP. With us is Sanjay Jha, uh, who is, of course, a political analyst and was earlier with the Congress Party. Sushmita Dev, member of parliament and spokesperson of TMC, also with us. Sushmita Dev, let me start with you first. Now, uh, many would say that today's announcement by Mamta Banerjee, uh, perhaps uh, uh, on ground, those who've been there would say that it's been in the coming, but it's also something that has clearly jolted the Congress and the India alliance because... Mamta Banerjee is saying that this is lack of courtesy. The Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra has reached the state of West Bengal, her own state, and the Congress has not informed her. So what's the question? What is the question you're asking? The question is that this is something that was in the make. Uh, Congress says that we have invited uh, all alliance partners for this particular Yatra. I think uh, Honorable Chairperson made it very clear that uh, there was no invitation uh, for the Yatra. I mean, uh, you know, if, if a date is fixed for a yatra, I would presume that if you're inviting a chief minister or anybody who has a schedule, you'd let them know before. 
So I think she's on record uh, saying that she got no invitation. Sanjay Jha, perhaps, uh, you know, Jairam Ramesh may today be saying that Mamta Banerjee is a pillar of the alliance, but is it too little too late? Because if key alliance partners such as Mamta Banerjee, uh, who have a huge presence in the Lok Sabha, who are in power in West Bengal, if they are unhappy, and also the Aam Aadmi Party for that matter, Bhagwat Bhan announcing that they're going to go it alone in Punjab, then this has serious questions for the future of the India alliance. Uh, absolutely, Madhavan. And I can, I can add another point that uh, the Congress party has been extremely indifferent when Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary has been holding press conferences and going ballistic against Mamta Banerjee. I mean, Mamta Banerjee, as Jairam Ramesh correctly pointed out, is one of the most uh, senior leaders within the India Alliance, a towering political personality all India. Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, yes, he is the Congress's face in the Lok Sabha and in West Bengal. But when you're talking about a strategic alliance to take on the BJP, there has to be a certain code of conduct. You can't allow Mr. Chaudhary to go and call and start rubbishing Mamata Banerjee as if you know she's some kind of a you know political cipher. And I think this is the problem that the Congress needs to sort out without wasting any time. You need to rein in your people. You need to get your house in order. You know, trying to create the India Alliance is not just about hype and hoopla. There is a challenge to stop the BJP, which is on a formidable run to win elections. And I do believe that the Congress can oh, still oh stem the rot, but they need to call out the riot act within, because I think it's extremely counterproductive and counterintuitive if the India Alliance were to crack right now when Rahul Gandhi is in the middle of a yatra and people are expecting the India Alliance to fight. Right. But the question, uh, uh, you know, still remains, Sanju Varma, because the Congress says that Mamta Banerjee's entire statement is that we want to defeat the BJP. So at the central level, they will continue to remain united. You know, Madhav, uh, let's not kid ourselves. I'm going to quote ad verbatim, though you've already done the needful in the introduction, what Mamta Banerjee has said. She said, I had no discussions with the Congress party. I have always said that in Bengal, we will fight alone. I am not concerned about what will be done in the country, but we are a secular party. And in Bengal, we alone will defeat the BJP. And then she goes on to say, they did not even bother to inform me that they would be coming to West Bengal as a matter of courtesy, even though I'm a part of the India bloc. So there is no relation with me as far as Bengal is concerned. So clearly, in no uncertain terms, very unequivocally, Mamata Banerjee has said that she was not even aware that Rahul Gandhi uh, would be coming to West Bengal as part of his uh, Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra or what have you. Point number one. Point number two, I have done a zillion debates with you and I have been reinforcing this again and again and again for whatever it is worth that the only binding glue of this fractious, vanquished and debilitated alliance is the fact that they are bound together by their visceral hatred for one man, that is Prime Minister Narendra Modi. You know, there was a virtual meeting, Madhav, if you recall, on the 6th of December, 2023, barely a few weeks back. There was a physical meeting then on the 8th of December, 2023, of all the so-called Dot Dot Alliance partner members. And there was one on the 19th of December, 2023. And there was one as recently as 13th January, 2024. And what I found very surprising was that in all these four meetings, virtual and physical, there were two leaders who were conspicuous by their absence. And these two leaders were Mamata Banerjee and Akhilesh Yadav. You had Sharad Pawar who made his presence felt. You had Stalin who came for a couple of meetings. You had Nitish Kumar, the likes of T.R. Balu who were there. But Mamata Banerjee and Akhilesh Yadav have clearly made it known to all within the dot dot bracket that we do not feel that we are a part of your alliance. Let's put that and question across to the TMC spokesperson. Uh, you know, uh, you've heard what the uh, BJP spokesperson has said, uh, Sushmita Dev, and respond to her. She says that Mamta Banerjee, with her physical absence at these meetings, had made her, has already made her position clear vis-a-vis -vis the India alliance. The only thing that was binding them together is hatred for Modi, says Sanju Varma. Is that true? You see, uh, Honorable Chairperson, Mamta Di is crystal clear that the Bharatiya Janta Party uh, is anti-federalism, it has decimated the democracy in parliament and outside parliament. It is a fascist mindset as a party. And to fight this party, she put the past behind her. And I think 27 parties came together. 
Now, let me make it crystal clear to your viewers. We have not moved a millimeter away from the India Alliance. And we wish the Congress party all the very best in the 300 odd seats where Congress will be contesting against the BJP. We totally understand and need them to do well. And we, 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 are, we are optimistic that they, do, they will do very well. Secondly, I don't think any BJP person should get super excited about the fact that the alliance is falling apart. Let me make it clear, if anybody understands the politics of Bengal, they will agree that this is the best strategy to defeat a, uh, uh, a communal party like the Bhatia Janta Party in Bengal. You know, you know, we, we, we rub their face, we rub their face in the mud in 2021. And we will do it again in 2024. We will. Are, why are you interrupting? One more, one more. Sanju, one more. You can respond why to. I'm coming to you. Let her, let her make her point. I'm coming to you. Yeah. Yeah. Conclude anybody your point, please. Sushmita Dev. Anybody who, anybody who knows the ABCD of Bengal politics will know that Mamta Banerjee and All India Trinamool Congress will defeat a communal and a fascist party like the BJP in Bengal, okay. they are the most suited to Okay, do so. there's no need for the BJP to get excited. The TMC will continue to fight the BJP in Bengal and at the center. Respond to that, Sanju Varma. You know, Mother, uh, listening to the TMC spokesperson, I'm reminded of a few Hindi lines. Bade beyabru ho kar tere kunche se hum nikle. Bohut mere arman nikle, lekin fir bhi kuch kam nikle. You know, TMC is a classic case of a party that is ruled not governed, a party that is ruled and a party that is ruling West Bengal, not governing West Bengal, at the helm of affairs is a lady who is Hindu-phobic, at the helm of affairs is a lady under whose incompetent watch you had the Hamsa Khali gang rape, you had the Birbhum massacre, you had the post for panchayat violence, post which even the Supreme Court had to say that the license to hold elections is not a license to engage in violence. This is the same party which said, oh, Partha Chatterjee is holier than thou, he's in the locker. This is the same chief minister who said, oh, Abhishek Banerjee is holier than thou. The Supreme Court uh, failed to quash his plea saying that, are mere khilaf case mat kariye. Supreme Court said nothing doing. There will be an ongoing investigation, which is all kosher. Let the ED do its job. So for Sushmita Dev, and let me tell you, Sushmita Dev was one of the people who said, are Tripura to 2023 BJP will be wiped out. And this lady was one of the key campaigners. What happened? The scorecard of Mamata Banerjee in Tripura, let your audience know, is a big zero. Sushmita Dev is actually the one who's had her nose rubbed in the mud and who's had a nice, big, fat, wobbly omelette on the face. Madam, you could not okay. even deliver one seat for your party in Tripura. So stop taking the moral high ground. Sushmita Dev. ashamed and embarrassed of yourself. Okay, Sushmita Dev, since she's taken on him, giving you a quick chance to rebut that before we go into a quick break. Again, I'm saying there's no need to get very excited. Oh, I really? think Bhartiya Janta Party, uh, Bhartiya Janta Party realizes very you well that all the... Uh, I one by one, you, please, I, one, by one. I, one by one, yeah. Yeah, so I, I just said there's no need to get hyper excited. Now, what I am saying is that in the 2021 election, the Prime Minister did numerous numerous rallies in bengal didi o didi didi o didi see either you let her speak i can so sanju arma sanju arma let her speak it's a limited time debate let's not let's not have the shouting match please i you have spoken let her respond to you now she's answering your question yeah so what i'm saying is in 2021 prime minister modi ji and amit shah ji came to bengal numerous amount of times from giving a cat call to the Honorable Chief Minister of Bengal, they tried everything. But what happened is they were defeated. And that's the reason, that's the reason Honorable Chairperson believes that Trinamul Congress should contest the BJP in 42 seats. Okay. See, this discussion is about the alliance and I'm trying to stick to that. Okay. 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 So I don't want to uh, get into Tutu Meme. So what I'm saying is, we want to make it crystal clear. So is Our there is there a possibility focus... of a patch up, Sushmita Dev? Is there a possibility because the Congress seems See. to suggest that? They say it's some miscommunication because all the India Block partners had been invited. This is what Mr. K.C. Venugopal has said just today. See, let me tell you something. The Yatra is a Congress party's uh, uh, whatever, uh, philosophical journey or uh, ideological journey and they are very much entitled to do that in a democracy. I don't think we have the right to comment on it. 
when it comes no, to no, the invitation... No, no, it's not about commenting. Will you participate? They say we are inviting no, no. you. It is very simple. Mamta Didi is on record to say that she did not receive an invitation and she did not know when what. So I think okay. to now question me on that, I can't double guess her. All right. All right. I'm going to request you all to record. stay on. I'm going to request you all to hold on to your thoughts. We're going to come back to this discussion in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. All right, we're discussing the troubles as far as the India Alliance is concerned. And let me go right across to Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha, you know, we are discussing currently the situation in West Bengal. And of course, as far as Punjab is concerned, in Kerala also, of course, you already have India Allies fighting it out. But this also has implications for, you know, states such as UP, Maharashtra, Delhi, uh, which also bring a large number of seats to the Lok Sabha. You know, Madhav, you're absolutely right. I think my friend Sushmita articulated the position very clearly that while the India Alliance stands together, the Congress does have a huge responsibility here because the Congress is spread all over the country. The Congress is the only party which has probably been competitors in the regional elections with different parties, including the TMC in West Bengal. But it is important for the party to display at this point a lot of accommodation and clear communication. I think if Mamata Banerjee is saying that she wasn't notified of Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Joro Yatra in a formal sense, that is something that the Congress party will have to look within. What I'm happy about Madhav is this, that at least the Congress party has promptly done the appropriate troubleshooting act. They have reached out. They have said that we intend to sort it out. I think this is important. My understanding is the Congress wants the India Alliance partners to be together. There needs to be negotiation and trade-offs. But in West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee is a formidable force. And if the Congress party needs to cut down on its expectation of seats, they should do it in the interest of the India Alliance. Well, three weeks after the seat sharing deadline was supposed to have been finalized at the end of December, this is still the situation where key allies cannot see eye to eye and not going to fight it together on the ground. This will have certainly some implications on ground as far as the unity of the alliance is concerned. Although for the moment, they're saying that what will happen post-poll will be seen. We'll have to leave it there for the moment. Sanju Varma as well as Sanjay Jha. And I'd also like to thank Sushmita Deb who was joining us earlier. We have to slip into a quick break now.